Hey my people, I'd like to give a shout out to Adia510 for requesting this look. Um, she wanted a smoky brown look and I've done it really, I think, quite smoky. Um, my skin tone is really fair, so most everybody else's is darker than mine, so I did it a little bit deeper. And um, I put some really deep colored lips with it. I think this looks really good and it'll look really good for going out. Um, let's just recap what I've put on my face so far. Um, I use bronzer for blush. Um, it's Lancome's Star Bronzer, Bronze Solar. I use that along the jawline, like basically, basically contoured with it. And then I've gone on and done my lips. And that is Hello Kitty, Matte Hello Kitty Most Popular. It's like a dark berry color. And then over that, I used Clinique's Black Honey. I've used this many a time. It is a gorgeous, deep, dark berry color for eyeshadow base. Revlon's um, Coastal Blues, the tan, the brown tan color in there, like so. Just put that all the way up. And it was cheap as all get out. It's Velvet Cream Shadow and it's called Fireplace. And it is this wonderful deep brown Blush. color. Bad. And I'm just gonna paint in that crease. Cut over and then fill in. You can make this as dramatic as you want or you can scale it down to where you can wear it to work or that's a good thing about brown tones you can change the intensity and wear it for work and then deepen it to go out I'm using mean. Clinique spicy quad and that deepest brown right there we're gonna take that and we're gonna work and it in the ground Almost like a pencil brush, I guess, is what you'd want to use. Just take it and pull okay. it in. Just build as you go. Rounded brush. And I'm using Ivory Box. Whatever would be closest to your normal skin tone color is a shade you'd want to be using for this part. And we're just going to right in the middle of your eye. You want to place that brush right there and start. Start working that color. Okay. And you're wanting to come up over this brow. And yes, I know I need to pluck some eyebrows. They are looking rough. It's a more coppery, almost like a color of a penny over here on this end. We're going to take that. We're going to take that same little rounded brush. And we're going to work it over. We're just going to blend. So as you turn in the light, you will see the variation of shades. Foxy. And it's an interesting color. I really don't know how to describe it other than it's like a, a taupey gray brown. It's right there. And I'm going to take it again on my little pencil brush, cleaned off pencil brush. And I'm going to work it in the corner. It's a very muted brown taupey color. But I think looks wonderful with this look. Okay. So there shouldn't really be any hard edges. It should kind of fade out. This is uh, Black Coffee from Lancome. I have had this pencil since God Made Rocks. It, I mean, it has lasted me forever. I love this pencil.
We're gonna tight line and water wedged line. it more than I winged it out. So just come in at an angle. I always rest my hand on something and tilt my head. That's gonna help a lot. Okay. Okay, and I just kind of winged it slightly. It's more of a wedge, really, but. Okay, and then go down just like one third of the way underneath. Plush okay. Flash in plush black. I've already curled, already curled my lashes. Usually that's the first thing I do, so just in case I forget, you it's have already it, done. the completed look. Thank you so much, ADF 510, for requesting this look. And if anyone else has any more requests, leave them down below. Thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all have a wonderful day.